As KPI X5's Wilson Walker talked with some local business owners who say they aren't part, they aren't part of the problem. Wilson? Yeah, Liz, here in Napa County, health officials say about 33% of virus transmission is happening in the household. Another 24% is happening when friends and families get together. So that is pretty much in line with what we're hearing across the state. And it has a lot of business owners asking, why are you tightening up on us? You know, it's a, it's a desolate street. Restaurants are closed. Retail shops are closed. With the rain, it was almost like it was crying for us. For Aaron Riley, purple tier restrictions, along with the weather, have brought a full stop at B Bubbly, and she is not alone. Second Street was awfully empty today. I feel badly for my neighbors who have restaurants, and then we suffer by not having the tourism coming into our shop. And Antiques on second is now limited to 25% capacity just in time for the holidays. Owner Jennifer Smith is strictly adhering to all health guidelines, but she does have one question. Yeah, I haven't heard anything about, you know, any particular retail establishments here being, you know, traced back to an outbreak. Knowing that people are getting sick because they're gathering at home, they're gathering with their families, they're going to house parties. So why are businesses closing? Well, because there's no way to control what's going on in homes and what's going on in private gatherings. The pandemic fatigue that we're seeing in our community is completely understandable. We've been at it for months. Supervisor Alfredo Pedroza is also frustrated. He says the state's approach to virus control may be unfairly penalizing some businesses and creating skeptics. But we also need to make sure that the data that's being utilized that is attributing to these decisions that are being made, that they take into account the local conditions to ensure that communities can stand behind those decisions that are being made. The decision to move to purple is clearly having an immediate effect on the economy. Yeah, it's sadly quiet. Um, and as always, there is no way to know how long purple is going to last. Yeah, I mean, there's the uncertainty of it all is really the hardest part. And, Getting shut down again if we shut all the way down, I mean, it would be devastating to so many people, and I don't know how businesses would stay open. Wilson, I see it rained in Napa a little bit today. No tent. indoor dining. Are restaurants ready for the weather? I see a big white tent behind you. Some are, seem to be ready. You know, I was just thinking, I was here. This establishment was the first to start serving when it was possible after the, the full shutdown back mm -hmm. at the very beginning of all this. So, yeah, they are equipped. A lot of people are not, however. A couple wine bars and smaller, um, you know, restaurant places that I went by today said they were having trouble getting tents. Obviously, demand mm -hmm. across the region or just about anywhere is tremendous. So not everyone prepared for it. So, yeah, uh, the rain on top of the purple really just put the kibosh on a lot of businesses, better weather would be favorable for a lot of folks. Yeah, and it's an investment to try to put up those tents and make it work so it's pleasant outside yeah, not, as well. Yeah, not cheap on that no, scale. No, not everybody yeah. can do that. All right, Wilson, thank you.